During the summer of 1972, Miami Beach became a gathering place for those who worked within the Democratic and Republican parties and those who practiced their own form of politics in the streets. In 1968, the street demonstrations at the Chicago Convention almost overshadowed the political process that was taking place there. The Miami Conventions of 1972 seemed to be a turning point. Gone were the scenes of street violence, and in its place came peaceful protest. Miami Beach Police Chief Rocky Pomerantz was credited with maintaining order while avoiding violence between youthful protesters and the police. Now, four years later, Pomerantz is still planning convention security as a special consultant to both the Democratic and Republican parties. First, there's the peace and tranquility of the whole community that's at stake. Uh, secondly, there's a concern for the rights of the delegates to pursue the objective for which they've been selected. And thirdly, there's a regard for the rights of the protesters who dissent in a peaceful manner. Uh, our approach is that uh, all of these rights uh, should be protected in an effective and humane manner. And in addition, I guess one of the keys is that the police need not be an abrasive quality in this picture at all. Gone are the days of massive protests, according to Rocky Pomerantz, who adds that he still sees many of the same people who threw rocks at the police during past conventions. But now, instead of fighting the political system from the streets, many of those people are letting their politics be known inside the conventions as delegates. Al Sunshine, Channel 4 News.